Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to organize all of your rainbow loom bands and then the actual loom itself. So a lot of people had requested this video so I went out and researched um, like the best way to organize them so they actually stay together and nothing falls out if you drop you know the system that you're organizing them in. So I'm excited to show you what I've done here. All right, so you're probably thinking like, oh, a tackle box, like, you know, it's the most obvious thing to organize them in. But this is by far my favorite tackle box. I love organizing with tackle boxes um, for so many different reasons. I love this, this particular one. So the first one is you could literally shape this tackle box and like none of the bands, none of the C loops are going to fall like you know, they're not going to fall in the other sections and get all like disorganized and chaotic. Uh, and you can also drop it and like it's not going to break. Um, so I'm going to drop it in a minute and show you. But also to give it like an, some extra protection um, while the bands are inside the box, I created, <laughs> I tried to make one of these rainbow loom bracelets and then use it as like a rubber band to hold the tackle box together. So I just put one like vertically and then horizontally and then now it's like extra secure. Um, and then underneath the rubber bands I just put like the instruction manual that comes with the rainbow loom um, inside the box. So it just goes right there. It's just like a nice little place for it. And you can also put like if you print out any instructions on how to make one you could just put it right there also. All right, so now I'm going to drop it and show you that this tackle box is not going to open and the rubber bands aren't going to go all over the floor and then cause a big mess. And then you have to sort them all again. All right, so just do our little test. So, okay, well, that just like fell straight. So let me drop it like this. Okay, so nothing, I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, nothing came out, like the box didn't open. So it's just a really awesome tackle box. And I've done a lot of like, testing on tackle boxes and a lot of tackle boxes don't do that like they'll just open all right so then this little clasp right here is really nice and tight so you can just like you can just hear how tight it is it just clasps really nicely all right so let me show you inside um, how I've organized all of the bands and then the loom so let me take these thingies off and show you and so everything fits inside the tackle box like even the loom itself fits inside. So if you're going to like a friend's house to, you know, go make something, you just take the tackle box and nothing else. So this, I guess this is, let me take this out. I don't know what, I guess this is called the pick. But, um, so the loom just fits, you know, I just had it on its side all the way in the back. And then um, all these dividers, I just kind of space them like two spacers apart and put all the rubber bands. And I color coded them so they look pretty. And then I put all the uh, little loop thingies uh, in the middle, uh, just like in a big little compartment. And then the pick just stays in the back, just like that. But I love this tackle box for another reason, because all of these little sections are adjustable. So you're not limited to, uh, to like, you know, a fixed tackle box where you can adjust the size of the organizer or like the sections or something. Um, so that's really cool. And then you can, if you need more of these little divider thingies, you can buy them separately. So I will put a link to this tackle box uh, in the description of this video and you can check it out and see if it'll work for you. Okay, one of the loops just fell. But anyways, that is how I would organize my rainbow loom bands and the loom itself if I was, um, you know, making bracelets and stuff, which I tried making one and it's like the most basic one. But anyways, it was fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you are watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for more tips on getting organized or you can check out my website, allahundra.tv for more fun organizing tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.